Good morning, everyone. This is Scott Albert, consultant. Current time is 6.52 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is 17 May, 2021. And uh, in this particular podcast, I'm going to talk about something that we've all heard, I'm sure, just so many times in our life. We can't even begin to imagine what life would be like without the statement. And the thing we've heard so many times in our lives is the following. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Now, how's this even play into the type of podcast that I do? Well, here's how. One of the things I'm involved with is uh, the community at uh, LynnMcTaggart.com. And uh, it's a worldwide group and organization of people who uh, spend their time, among other things, sending out uh, positive intentions of uh, a, a good light nature to help those who are having difficulties in life. And this is anything from I feel blue to, you know, I've been told I have stage four something or other dreadful. Now, I've been involved with this situation for many years. Um, I've been involved with energetic healing work for many years as well, since about 1981, and that started with acupressure at the, what was then called um, the Acupressure Workshop out in Berkeley, California. That has now changed to the Acupressure Institute in Berkeley, California, under Michael Reed Gock. Great place to get a start. And things have progressed. I've gone from that to massage to um, energetic healing work and hypnosis and so forth. And the, my, trans, my, tra- my journey has been from the physical to the energetic and the mental. But let's get back to the the whole reason this particular podcast is being made. Um, What was the statement? Oh yeah, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So, where this comes into play yesterday, between uh, 5 p.m. and about 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, I'm generally online hosting one of the groups on... uh, the LynnMcTaggart.com site. My particular group is called Let's Just Heal. I wanted to think up a name that would just, you know, completely uh, call the purpose of the group in its name. I couldn't think of anything simpler or more direct than Let's Just Heal. Now, for the most part, uh, we've encountered situations where people in the process and after the process, at the very least, feel uh, calm and peaceful and relaxed. And these are all good things. And uh, we're getting some results that seem to be more than a little promising, more than a little bit beyond statistical significance. We haven't raised the dead yet, mind you, but we might work on that at a future point. Um, We have a a member. I'm not going to name off the members of the the crew here because, well, it's not so much a matter of confidentiality as it is. Uh, If you go to the site, you can find out who the other people are. Um, But it just, I I don't want to, you know, jostle any any feathers here. Ruffle any feathers, sorry. Jostle is something else. Anyhow, um, this particular individual... They've been coming for, I don't know, two, maybe three sessions. And something never occurred to me when doing these gatherings. See, generally we we have the person let us know what their concern is, and then we sit quietly and we gather our energies together. In the virtual world, we imagine ourselves, you know, being transceivers of light, allowing light healing energy to pass through us and sending it to the person. It's pretty much standard protocol. 
um, or standard operating procedure. Yeah, that's the word I want to use for the phrase. So we did this yesterday, and it was it was kind of like one thunk. So huh, that's not supposed to happen. And we're all looking around, and the the party who was the recipient of this particular session of attention uh, had requested that everyone else speak first before they shared their sense and their feeling of the matter. And uh, we we're kind of left a little head scratchy, uh, not not devastated, but just like, huh, that doesn't normally happen. And for I don't know a half a second, I thought to myself. Maybe we should do this again. So, um, hmm. But before I could really process that particular thought a little further, one of the other members stepped up and rather emphatically stated, let's do it again. Let's blast this concern out of existence. My words, not theirs. So we, you know, kind of regathered ourselves, regrouped, and we did it again. And the nice thing is that and bear in mind, we're, we're on an audio-video interface known as whereby.com. Um, we could see this particular individual's face. We could clearly see her countenance. It had changed. It had gone from hmm, being a little dim and, and being not too pleasant or, or happy or in a good mood or seemingly by my own visual perception to light and bright and clear. It's like, well, that's better. And yeah, you know, I guess the moral of the story is sometimes you do your thing or you become kind of enmeshed in a status quo <clears throat> and you hit a wall. And you have to ask yourself, do I want to do this again? Do I want to try this again? And you might think about it, but you might not act. But then someone else or something else comes along and kind of gives you a little nudge and says, hey, hey, Let's, uh, let's try this again. Not sure why that didn't exactly go off according to expectation as opposed to plan, but let's try it again. And I guess the thing I want to say to you, the listener, is that when you're when you're dealing with circumstances, whatever they are, sometimes things you know just work and everything's fine, and sometimes they don't. So you're faced with that choice. Do you want to do it again? Do you want to try it again? You know, again, we're you know getting back to the the uh, the basis of this particular podcast. If at first you don't succeed, try try again. Now I I'm I'm standing here in our home and I'm looking at a picture of Yoda, baby Yoda. Yes, that Yoda. Mm. Think you're a strong enough force, are you? Pardon me. But more to the point, there is no try. There's do or do not. If it didn't exactly go according to plan the first go around, do it again. Do it again. You know, do it again until you get it to the point where you want it to be. Okay? So that's gonna wrap up this particular podcast. I was supposed to have done this yesterday, but um you know, things don't always go according to plan, and sometimes you just fall asleep and you take a nap until the next day. So I did. <laughs> I needed the sleep. As much as I love our cats, they've got weirder sleep cycles than I do, and they decide, I don't know, an hour and a half or two into my sleep cycle, I want company. I want food. I want to bother you. And it's like, it's a good thing you're cute, because otherwise you'd be skin hanging up on a wall, kid. Now nah, I wouldn't do that to our cats. We love our cats. Well, this has been Scott Albert, consultant, 17 May 2021, with another podcast. And I'm going to put this in a, up in a couple locations with the idea being sort of to see uh, how well it plays out under which, uh, which of a couple venues. Thank you for listening. If you have any further concerns or questions, please visit ray. P as in Paul, R as in Ralph, the number 3.com. That's XPR3.com. Thank you for listening. I feel like I have something to say, and I feel like someone out there needs to hear it. Y'all take care. Have a good week. Scott out.